What's up everybody, I'm Rossi and welcome to another Lost Ark video. In this video I'm going to show you all the current mounts in Lost Ark and how to get them. There will be a lot more mounts added to this game during different holidays and events such as this snowflake deer or the snowball mount. So this video only features all of the current mounts that we have in the game. Also it seems that in the western version of Lost Ark every mount has the same run speed. In Korean version of Lost Ark, the legendary mounts actually have a faster run speed than epic mounts and epic mounts have faster run speed than rare mounts and so on. The only thing making mounts have different speed in the western version is its movement skill, the skill you use with your spacebar or Q. Don't worry, I'll let you know if a mount is faster or slower compared to other mounts during the video. Also, you can find more detailed guides on how to get each of these mounts in the description box down below. The first mounts we have and get are the basic horse mounts. These you get at the very start of the game, just after you finish the prologue, get to Brightholm and exit the Cathedral. These come in three different variations, white one which is called Yuria White Horse, brown which is called Diorica Brown Horse and black which is called Lockhill Black Horse. To get all of them you need to have 3 characters and plate till this point. These mounts do not have any special flexibilities and the leap is very short making them much slower than any other mount in the game so you shouldn't use these mounts ever. It's basically the mount that only bots use. The next mount is also a horse called Borea Steed on the Adventure Tome or Borea Corsair in the mount list and it's the reward for getting 40% completion on the East Lutera Adventure Tome. And like the basic horses, the leap on this mount is so pathetic that you shouldn't use this mount ever. Then we have the Coast Horse. This was part of the March store update and was available to purchase from the cash shop for one month with a price of 1700 royal crystals which seems to be the price for all of these individually sold mounts. It has since rotated out and is currently not available in the cash shop, however it's tradable so you can still purchase it from the marketplace with gold. The current price seems to be around 3000 gold. There are a total of 5 different variations of this mount. Rage, Chaos, Hatred, Corruption and Sinful. I have two of these, Rage and Corruption, which I'll be showing here. All of the coast horses have three flexibilities. The first one makes the horse rear, the second one makes the horse pav, and the third one is a back kick. The movement skill is a charge forward. Our next mount is also a horse, the Diori Kovar horse. It's part of the Vanquisher and Explorer starter packs which are still available in the Lost Ark cash shop. At the moment the Vanquisher starter pack costs 64.99 and, and the Explorer starter pack costs 34.99 euros. However, as with other legendary mounts that you get from the cash shop, this too is tradable which means it can be purchased from the marketplace and the current price for it seems to be as low as 750 gold which is very cheap. It has three flexibilities, the first one makes the horse bar, the second and third one makes the horse rear with different sound effects. The movement skill of this horse is a charge forward. The next mounts are the Ladybugs. These mounts can only be ridden in selected areas on the Tortoise continent. There are three different variations of these, red, yellow and blue one called Azure. Much like the horses, to get all of them you have to complete Tortoise three times with different characters and choose a different color each time. Their movement skill is a forward dash and comparing the speed to other mounts is unnecessary because you cannot use these mounts anywhere else and you cannot use other mounts in places you can use these mounts. Next we have the turtle mounts. None of the turtles have any flexibilities and all of them have the same movement skill a forward dash. The first turtle mount is Azure Mos Turtle. This turtle mount is one of the three choices you can choose after you have finished the Turtle Island Soul Quest, the other two being Green Mos Turtle and Yellow Mos Turtle. You purchase them from the luxury goods merchant. Currently there doesn't seem to be a way to get all of them so you have to pick one. Then we have Red Mos Turtle which is the final reward for reaching max reputation from the Turtle Island Yuna's Task Daily Quest. And the last turtle mount is the Goldmoss turtle which is a reward for getting 25 island tokens. Then we have hoverboards. 
Similar to the turtle mounts, none of these have any flexibilities and they all have the same movement skill called boost, which you use by holding down Q. The first hoverboard is called Blower Walker, which is the final reward for reaching max reputation by doing the daily quest on the Facility X301 island. Then we have Apostel, which is the 50% completion reward from the Artitine Adventure Toe. And lastly we have the hoverboard in New Cheer, which was a Twitch drop and you got it by watching streamers that were eligible for 4 hours. These are ok looking mounts for a scout or artillerist, but the problem with the boost ability is that it doesn't let you go past enemies like the leap or charge forward does, so you'll get stuck a lot and in my opinion the sound they make is too annoying for a constant use. Next we have the wolf mounts. All of these mounts are basically the same mount, just a different color. The first wolf mount is the white one, the frost wolf which you get from Shushar continent quests. The next one is Wolf of Vanity and it has a blue color. It's the final reputation reward for the Yuna's Task daily quest called Wolf of Eternity that is located in the Lake Eternity. Then we have Shadow Wolf and it has black color. This wolf is the final reward for reaching max level rapport with Poppy. Poppy is located in Shushar. And lastly we have Red Main Wolf which has a red color and is a rare drop from Chaos Dungeons or Forb Adventure Island. Again, none of these have any flexibilities and they all have the same short leap, making them slower than other mounts and thus I don't recommend using them. Then we have some special horse mounts. These mounts can only be written in the Azure Wind Island and they are the only mounts in the game that you can do combat with. They both have three different attacks and they are used for the Azure Wind daily quest and the cooperative quest that happens in the same island. The first one is Cloud Steed and this one you get fairly early while doing the yellow quest line on this island. The other mount exclusive to this island is the Wind Main Mustang, which you get much later while doing those yellow quests. It's cool to see that there is mounted combat available in this game should they ever decide to expand the idea, but for now there really isn't any use for these mounts. Next we have two raptor mounts. The first raptor mount is the Greystripe Raptor and it's the 30% completion reward from the Northburn Adventure Dome. The other raptor mount is the silver combat raptor which was exclusive reward for having prime subscription. Both of the raptors don't have any flexibilities and have the run ability instead of leap so they'll get stuck in enemies and for that reason they are not as good as your other mounts. The running lasts 0.5 seconds longer on the silver combat raptor making it slightly faster. Even though they get stuck easily I still use it on my artillerist for my dino rider cosplay. Then we have some Chamkuri mounts. The first one is Dan Chamkuri and it's reward from one of the quests in Rohendel Continent so you cannot miss it and you also receive it if you use a power pass. The other Chamkuri mount was a reward for locking in to the game 20 times during the first month of Lost Ark. There are 5 different color variations of these called Mango, Berry, Kiwi, Peach and Soda. The one I have is Berry. The Dan Chamkuri doesn't have flexibilities but the login reward Chamkuri has and it's this cute wing flapping. Their movement skill is the same as the Raptor so they tend to get stuck if there are enemies around and thus I don't recommend using them. Also the run lasts 0.5 seconds longer on the legendary Chamkuri. Then we have the Unicorn Mount. This was another Twitch drop which you got for watching 2 hours of Lost Ark content from eligible streamers during the event. There are 4 different variations of these, Snow, Pinky, Aurora and Black. The one I have here is the Aurora. Each of the unicorns have one flexibility where it shoots lightning from its horns and its movement skill is a forward charge. Next one we have is the Piñata mount. These are cash shop mounts and have been available on the Lost Ark cash shop since the launch of the game. There are 7 different color variations of these called Soda, Melon, Strawberry, Sugar, Lemon, Crepey and Cookie. All of these cost 1700 royal crystals but they are again tradable and you can find yourself one from the marketplace for about 2500 gold. The one I have is Sugar and I chose it because it has the same colors as the flag of my country which is white and blue. These mounts have three different flexibilities, the first one makes the piñata shake confetti, the second one is a two part dance and the third one summons a gift which might have a present or not. 
The movement skill is a very fast and long leap, making these a very good mount choices. Then we have some cloud mounts. The first mount is the Radiant Golden Cloud, which at the moment is the newest cash shop mount addition. It's part of the Clavier special package, which costs 3700 royal crystals. This mount is tradable, so if you are just looking for the mount and don't care about the other stuff that comes with the package, you can find it in the marketplace, the current prices being just under 5000 gold. This mount has three flex abilities, the first one is a backflip, the second one shoots massive fireworks, and the third one makes a smaller cloud shoot out of your cloud, go around and back inside the cloud. The movement skill is a fast charge forward and it only has 5 second cooldown, making it by far the fastest mount in the game. The other cloud mount currently in the game is the flying nimbus which you can purchase in Sangra Island for 7000 Sangra flower dew which takes a lot of grinding. However, this mount is also tradable and currently going for 18750 gold in the marketplace. So if you want this mount, you don't have to farm it yourself, you can just purchase it if you have the amount of gold needed. I currently don't have this mount. Next up is the tiger mount called Soul Vanguard. There are two versions of this black one which is called Dark Soul Vanguard and white one which is called Azure Soul Vanguard. These mounts are the reward for reaching level 10 on your arc pass and should be no problem for you to get if you just play the game and participate in the content. It has three flex abilities, the first one makes your tiger roar, second one makes the tiger release colorful energy and the third one feeds your tiger mount with some rice cakes. The movement skill is a huge and fast leap and makes this mount currently one of the best mounts to use, however, like almost every other mount, the movement skill has a 10 second cooldown making it slower than the new radiant golden cloud mount, but this mount also looks very cool and is totally unique. Then we have Vernice Elk which is currently available from the Lost Ark Cash Shop for 1700 Royal Crystals and has been there since the launch of the game. As with other Cash Shop mounts, this too is tradable and you can find it in the marketplace for about 2400 gold. There is also a snowy version of this mount called the Snowflake Deer which will probably get during the winter holiday events but that's yet uncertain and hasn't been confirmed anywhere since we are so far from the winter events. But yeah, the snowy version of this exists and if I remember correctly, it was in fact the first ever cash mount added to the game in the Korean version. This mount has three flex abilities. The first one makes some leaves raise from its horns, the second one startles your deer and the third one makes your deer aggressive. The movement skill is also a huge leap, but it's not as fast as the one the tiger mount has. Next we have the Terpeion and Terpeion of the Shadow Mounts. This mount you could get from the launch celebration gift pack if you logged into the game between February 19th and March 1st. Both of these have the same three flex abilities. The first one makes your Terpeion rear, the second one makes it lay down, and the third one is a back kick. The movement skill is a charge forward where the mount opens its wings, but it feels slow once you have tried the tiger mount or the golden cloud. Then we have the PvP mounts Kelpion and Eldain. The first one is the bluish elemental horse Kelpion, which you can purchase from the PvP vendor when you reach the tier Supreme 1, and it costs 2000 coins of courage. The elemental horse Eldain can be purchased when you reach the tier Extreme, and it costs 4000 coins of courage. These mounts have similar movement skill charge as the Terpeions have where they open their wings during the charge. They also have Q ability Victory Stunt which makes the mount start flying while playing a small tune. These mounts are seasonal so after the PvP season ends, you will lose the mount and need to raise your tier back in order to purchase the mount again. And next is the Mokoko board. This one was a gift we received during March. There are 11 different variations of the Mokoko board and these are Pleasant, Evergreen, Cherry Blossom, Aurora, Rainbow, Summer Night, Breaming, Sunset, 
Snowflake and Sky Snow. All of them unique in their own way. For example, this streaming Mokoko board which I chose has a starry night constantly animated on top of the board and the fumes this board leaves behind are shaped like stars. It doesn't have any flexibilities but the movement skill is pretty fast, charge forward and has 8 second cooldown. Then we have the white scarab mount. This is a reward you get for having one Ignea token which you get for reaching 100% completion on any of your adventure tomes. It doesn't have any flexibilities, its movement skill is a short dash forward and it has 10 second cooldown on it so it's basically just a recolored ladybug that you can use outside of Totoik. It's cool because it's unique but it's slower than your other mounts due to its dash forward being so short. Then we have few mounts I don't have yet, one of them being the Gold Combat Wolf which you can purchase for 22,000 Amethyst Shards. These shards you get from some of the achievements as well as claiming Prime Loot from your Prime subscription and sometimes from Twitch drops. If I remember correctly, this mount used to be a prestige mount which you only got if you spent enough money in the cash shop which generated prestige for your account. So basically it was a reward for spending money in the game. Then we have the rarest mount in the game that most of you will never get and it's the Golden Terpeion which you can redeem for having 13 Ignea tokens. It has the same flexibilities as the other Terpeions and sadly the same movement skill making it actually slower than the Tiger Mount, Radiant Cloud or even the Mokko board which is absolute nonsense. And lastly we have the Platinum Founders Pack mount, Cerberus which is also also tradable and one of the mounts I don't have yet. It comes with 7 different color variations, white and light teal, grey, teal, black, brown, blue and red. The current prices for the Cerberus mount selection chest seems to be around 60 to 70k gold and around 50k gold for the individual ones. By the way I'm accepting gold donations so if you want to see me get this mount, my character is Rassi YouTuber on EU Central, thank you in advance. Cerberus has three flexibilities, the first one makes it breathe fire, the second one engulfs it in flames and the third one makes it kind of like burn with the color it has on its forehead, not 100% sure if this is true or not. Its movement skill is double leap with 12 second cooldown. Even with such a high cooldown it's still faster than most of the legendary mounts and the double leap allows it to cut corners nicely. Huge thanks to Papa Panda for taking the time and showing me the Cerberus mount. But that's it for this video, all the current mounts in Lost Ark and how to get them. Let me know in the comments what mount you like to use and make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more Lost Ark content. It's absolutely free and helps me out a lot. There is also a channel membership available should you want to support me more. Thank you for watching, have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video.